Good photos are key to a successful case. If you submit photos that are unclear or taken from the wrong angle, you may need to call your patient back in to take new ones. To avoid this inconvenience, follow these tips. First, make sure your photo is in focus. If you're using a point and shoot or DSLR camera, autofocus by holding the shutter release button halfway down for a second before taking the photo. Most cameras will beep when they're ready. Next, make sure the teeth are well lit. Sunlight is ideal. If that's not an option, use the overhead light in your operatory. Don't use your camera's built-in flash because it generally creates more problems than it solves. We require photos from all eight angles recommended by the American Board of Orthodontics. Full face with lips relaxed, full face smiling, profile facing right, lower occlusal, upper occlusal, right lateral view, front view, and left lateral view. Full face photographs should be taken straight on with the patient's face filling as much of the frame as possible. For the first facial photograph, the patient should assume a relaxed expression while keeping their jaw in occlusion. For the second, the patient should look directly into the camera with a natural social smile. For the profile photo, the patient should turn 90 degrees to their left, your right, and look straight ahead with a relaxed expression, chin parallel to the floor. For lower occlusal photographs, the labial surface of the central incisors should be parallel to the bottom of the frame, with the midline centered in the frame. In the upper occlusal photographs, the mid-palatal raft, the seam that runs along the upper palate from front to back, should be centered in the photo. Every tooth in the arch, at least to the first molars, should be fully in frame, and the facial side of the anterior teeth should not be visible. The left and right lateral photos should include all the teeth and attached gingiva between the first molars and both central incisors. The occlusal plane should be parallel to the frame, and teeth on the far side of the arch should not be visible. The frontal intraoral photo should feature an equal display of posterior dentition with the teeth in occlusion. The occlusal plane should be horizontal, bisecting the photograph. Show the attached gingiva. Use cheek retractors to ensure all the necessary elements are visible. It's also a good idea to take photographs from the same eight angles after treatment. Before and after photos are a valuable educational and promotional tool. As we mentioned, x-rays are optional, but it does help when you submit them. Make sure that the right and left sides are properly labeled and that the exposure is correct. If you have questions about photos and x-rays, give us a call at 888-331-3323.